10. Nine Alfred, world indoor champion over 60 meters, multiple NCAA champion. Chase of Herbert Alfred is in command. 50 meters up. Julian Alfred, the solution will take semi-final. Today is a proud day for me. A proud day for St. Lucia. A happy day for me. But most of all, today is the day when St. Lucia is celebrating excellence. Excellent in the form of Julian Alfred. I want to congratulate her. She really carried, you know, the hopes of the region on her back, and is a fantastic achievement. And for Cicera, you know, as a parliamentary rep, um, we're super delighted. And certainly on behalf of the government and people of Saint Lucia, we have to say a very special thank you to her. She promised it and she delivered. Eight. Ours is a history of oppression, defiance, determination, liberation, and triumph. It is a history that we should be proud of. It is a day to reflect on our shared history, our identity, our heritage, and the rich legacy of our ancestors. Seven. On Emancipation Day, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre made landmark announcements that are set to transform the lives of thousands of St. Lucians. On this 1st August 2024, my government is implementing the first ever new minimum wage for the workers of this country, which is effective from 1st October 2024. No worker in this country will earn less than $1,130 a month. 13,000 people are expected to benefit immediately with salary increases as a result of that policy. Six. With concerns surrounding access to health care in neighboring Martinique rising, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs convened a meeting with key stakeholders. The challenges of persons trying to access care in Martinique, we were able to deliberate on that and clearly establish the real problems so that we can begin to tackle it. We're able to discuss um, the referral um, processes that are in place, the processing of the documents through the immigration department and also the role of the consulate, the St. Lucian consulate in Martinique and come up with a number of recommendations to strengthen the system that exists to ensure that persons who want to access care over in Martinique can be done in a more efficient manner. Five. In an effort to promote awareness about genetic makeup and the critical importance of blood donations, the Blood Bank Department of the Ezra Long Laboratory has joined forces with Gentech Analytica's Summer Genetics Program for students. We are so thrilled today to be part of the Gentech Analytica group in educating persons about blood donation. Persons can donate blood from age 17 to age 70. Also for our young, innovative scientists, our budding scientists, to let them know the genetics about blood grouping. Four. As part of an ongoing effort to monitor and combat insecticide resistance, the Vector Control Unit of the Environmental Health Division conducted an in-depth review and evaluation during a follow-up visit. The aim was to refine strategies and improve the effectiveness of the testing protocols to better control vector-borne diseases. All our vector control officers took part in that exercise last year. And today, what we're doing is just an evaluation, basically assessing the objectives 
news of what happened last year. 3. Persons interested in youth work will be given another opportunity to engage young persons in the society as the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports embark on a recruitment drive. Traditionally, a youth worker works with key stakeholders in their zones and they would collaboratively develop initiatives, projects, programs, interventions to facilitate youth empowerment. Two. When we were sailing into the port, uh, I could see from the distance that this is a beautiful island with a very many natural uh, attractions. It is my pleasure to welcome Disney Fantasy to beautiful St. Lucia. You could not have chosen a more attractive, more touristic, more um, product intensive destination to visit today. One. With the, new, the use of this new technique of cervical cancer screening and HPV testing using liquid based cytology, St. Lucia can change this story by slowly eliminating cervical cancer. Universal health coverage will encourage investments in prevention measures as they are cost efficient and are effective ways to save lives.